What's going on folks? So a little over a year ago, I posted a video about my PRK laser eye surgery. A lot of people saw that video. A lot of people found it really helpful in kind of knowing what to expect. I hadn't really talked about the surgery much before I got it, but then that video was just kind of an initial impressions video, an early review nine days after my procedure. So now it's been a little over a year and I've had a whole lot of people uh, sending me private messages, even commenting on other videos saying, hey, it's been over a year, how are you doing now? How, how are your eyes? What, what's it like? So overall, I'd say it's been a really good experience. So PRK was something that I, I got into with a little bit of hesitation. I had read a few negative reviews. Um, ultimately, the reason I went with PRK instead of LASIK is just because I have really sensitive eyes. Uh, I have allergies and it seems like allergies affect everybody different, but for me, I would always get itchy, watery eyes. And for me, putting contacts in just made that way, way worse. And I do a lot of stuff where wearing glasses, it, it makes it difficult. So I looked at eye surgery, um, realized I wanted to do this, and then they recommended PRK because for sensitive, itchy, watery, dry eyes, a lot of times LASIK can make that worse. PRK, they say it'll probably be about the same. If you have dry eyes, it won't make them any better, but it probably won't make them worse to the same degree that LASIK would. So I found that that was mostly correct. Uh, I definitely have realized that Sometimes after I've been awake for a really long time or after I've been driving for a really long time or even staring at a screen for a long time without breaks, my eyes are a little bit more sensitive. Uh, it seems like my eyes just get a little bit tired a little bit more easily. My eyes kind of get dry, kind of get itchy a little bit more easily, but not significantly. Not, not nearly to the degree that I would ever say I regret doing this surgery. I would just say over where I was, there's a slight change there. Um, my vision has definitely held constant for the first year. So nine days after, I was kind of in the initial period where my vision was pretty much about where it was going to be, but there was some clouding and some, some glare that needed to be resolved. Uh, probably about two months in, maybe as much as three months in, probably more like two, I really saw that starting to resolve. So my right eye actually healed quite a bit faster than my left eye, which was a weird experience because I'm left eye dominant. If you've seen any of my shooting videos, you'll notice I'm left-handed. I'm left-handed and left-eyed. So it's, it was a little bit weird when my right eye was stronger and so my eyes almost would have difficulty focusing with the stronger eye when my left eye wanted to be the dominant eye. So that was a bit strange at about the two month end mark. Um, and then that started to get resolved and like I said, my right eye healed faster than my left eye. So as my left eye started to catch up, that was definitely getting better and better. Now, I was a little bit surprised by how much my eyes didn't heal at the same rate. It, it was a little bit odd and I think even now, a year later, I think my eyes aren't getting any better. I think they're pretty much, everything's been settled in for a while now. My right eye is absolutely 20-20. I have very sharp, very, very good vision in my right eye. I think in my left eye, I'm probably around 20-30 or so. Um, sometimes when I've taken an eye test, I've been 20-20, but obviously when you squint, when you increase the pressure in your eye, it, it makes your vision appear a little bit better. So sometimes I've gotten 20-20, sometimes I've gotten 20-40, sometimes I've gotten 20-30. So I think probably 20-30 is probably pretty accurate uh, to where my eyes have, have been or to where my left eye has been. So with this eye being not quite perfect 20-20 vision and this eye being right on, uh, er everything looks great. I'm, I'm really excited to see the world clearly, to wake up, to be able to look over at the alarm clock without my glasses on or without having to put contacts in is a pretty neat thing. And that being said, I've noticed a little bit um, that my sensitivity to light has increased when I first wake up or when my eyes I guess just when they're really tired, um, after I've been asleep for a long time and I'm first waking up, or like I said, if I've been driving or staring at a screen for a long time, I'll notice a little bit more sensitivity. Sometimes when I very first wake up, if I look at a bright computer screen immediately, it, it seems overwhelming, the glare. Um, but you probably shouldn't be looking at a computer screen the first thing you wake up anyway. Uh, and I don't think it's bad. There's there's no pain or anything. I've just noticed a little bit more sensitivity to to bright lights. And in a similar way, I've also noticed my astigmatism. So I had an astigmatism before I had laser eye surgery. 
Glasses can correct for that pretty well. Contacts can correct for it. Uh, from my experience, not quite as well as glasses can. But after the laser eye surgery, I don't think it made my astigmatism any worse. I think it basically just brought it back to where it would be naturally. Um, because when they do uh, the eye surgery, they can shape your cornea, but the astigmatism, I believe, has to do with the elongation of the eye. So a lens outside of the eye can compensate for that, but the eye itself, it's really hard to to change that. It's It seems like, again, I, I'm not the doctor doing this, so I can't describe it in the most technical terms, but I've noticed my astigmatism has come back a little bit. For the most part, it's not an issue at all. Now, I do like to shoot guns, as I've mentioned, and so I've noticed for me, using a red dot sight is a little bit more difficult. I have to turn it on to a very low level. If I have the brightness cranked all the way up, I see just a big starburst. And I know that it's my eye and not the actual red dot sight because when I rotate, like if I rotate the dot, I see that flare stays in the same spot. It doesn't rotate with the optic. So I've noticed that when I use a red dot sight, a little bit like if I'm driving, you know, out in the country late at night and I see an oncoming car headlight coming at me or see a stoplight a half a mile away, it doesn't look like a solid pinpoint of light. It looks like a starburst. And I've experienced that pretty much my whole life. I'm just noticing that it's a little bit more pronounced now. Uh, during the daylight, I really don't notice it at all. It's pretty much just in really high contrast situations like driving at night or looking at a red dot sight, something like that. Um, but overall, it, it hasn't slowed me down with anything. It's just something that I think kind of, like I said, the, the surgery didn't correct that. It just brought me back to where my eye naturally would have been. So a year after PRK, am I glad I did it or do I regret that I did it? I'm definitely glad that I did it. Uh, I think if I, knowing what I know now, if I was gonna go back in time and make the decision, I still would have chosen to do it. Uh, I've gone to Peru, which I have a video coming up soon. I've gone on several hiking trips. Uh, I've done a lot of traveling. Um, I've just I've been out in the desert several times. So many times where just you think about wearing your contacts when you're in dry climates or just rough wilderness climates that it's so hard to wear contacts and actually keep them clean. Um, being able to just not have to stick my fingers in my eyes and not have to deal with contacts has been great. So PRK surgery overall, I would say approach it, approach it cautiously, but I would still recommend it. Obviously I'm not a doctor, so talk, talk to your eye doctor, find out what they have to say, but it's been a really good experience for me. If you have any other questions about my experience with PRK uh, laser eye surgery, whether it's about specific side effects or just any other questions about my experience, go ahead and comment down below. Um, hopefully I'll get to your question, hopefully I can answer it. Again, I'm not a medical professional at all. I'm just one guy who likes to spend time outside exploring, um, shooting, doing things that use my eyes constantly. And, and I can only speak from my experience. But I think that experience, it resonates with a lot of other similar experiences that I've heard. So overall, I would recommend it. Approach it cautiously. There are some weird side effects. The healing time does take a while, but being able to see is, is absolutely great. Until next time, stay safe, be free, and never stop seeking adventure.